Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel, and today we're going to be learning how to implement swipe to delete. And this is actually going to be pretty simple, so if you're excited, go ahead and absolutely destroy the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, you can also go ahead and like the video because I'm sure you're going to love this, all right? So um, let's actually just jump right in. So first of all, open up Xcode, and we're going to quickly create a new project. This is going to be app, and I'm going to call this swipe to delete, okay? And I'm just going to save this on my desktop. So, oops. All right. So, I'll just select iPhone 11. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to just head over to the main.storyboard and very quickly implement a, a quick list. All right. So, you know how to implement a list. Go ahead and drag a table view right there. Drag it all the way to the bottom. And then we're going to add constraints to all the corners like that uh, did I miss anyone Let's see click on the table view I missed these ones so add right here good then we're just gonna go ahead and add the delegate as well so click on the table view drag the data source and the delegate sweet now the next thing I'm gonna do is head over to our view controller which is a class that is connected to the view controller by default. And the way we like to implement our table view delegates is to extend our, our class. And then we're going to conform to UI table view data source and UI table view delegates. All right. Great. Now what we're going to do next is we're just going to create, create a very quick, uh, very short list of names. And we can just say names is an array of a couple of names. So David, my elder brother, Emmanuel, myself, who's on my younger brother, and Grace, my younger sister. You can go ahead and add whatever names you want, all right? So these are the names that are going to be on our list. And then remember, whenever you want to implement table views, you want to go ahead and implement two um, delegate methods. The first one is number of rows in section. And here I'm simply going to return names, oops, what? Names.count. And you could actually just not add return because it's a one line stuff. So next we're going to implement cell for row at index path. And here what we're going to do is we're going to create a very quick cell, UI table view cell. And actually, if you don't know what, what I'm doing here, you can just go ahead and watch my video on table views where I basically move slower and explain everything I'm doing. So finally, we're going to return cell over here. And what we want to do here is we want to set the text of this cell to be whatever name is for the row. So I'm going to say cell dot text label dot text, and this is going to be equal to names for the index path dot row. All right. And um, now we can actually just go ahead and run this. Let's see if our table view is properly set up. So it's running. All right, nice. So we have our list. And now what we want to do is when you try to swipe on a single cell, we want to be able to delete. All right. Now there's a very quick way that we can do this, which is to implement table view um, editing style. Right. And there's this option that has the commit here editing style. So just go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to say if editing style is equal to dot delete, then what we want to do is basically remove that item from this list, right? And reload our table view. So what we can do is just say names dot remove at the index and the index is going to be index path dot row. And uh, after deleting the name, we want to basically reload our table view, but we want to make this all nice and sweet. So we're not going to use table view dot reload, but instead we're going to use table view dot remove. Uh, sorry, table view dot delete rows. And this actually just takes a an array of index path, but the only index we want to delete is the current row, right? Then for the animation, we can just say automatic so that um, Xcode basically determines the best animation. So um, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and run the app and let's see whether that works. So I try to swipe and voila, just like that is deleted and it added very smooth animation. Delete, delete, delete. Awesome. Now this is good, but um, this kind of implementation basically is a little bit, is quite limiting, all right? So there's another way that we can implement this and basically even add like um, 
custom icons and, and the likes, all right? So I'm gonna show you the second method. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comment this out in case you need it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna implement another delegate method. And this one is going to be called trailing swipe actions configuration like that. And um, basically what this is, is we're gonna add a particular action for when you swipe from right to left, right? And just the same way we have something like trading, swiping from right to left, you may have guessed that we also have leading uh, swipe action where we swipe from left to right, all right? So let's go ahead and implement this one first of all, and then we just go to the other one. So the first thing I wanna note is that this particular function requires us to return a value of this type, right? A configuration. So let's go ahead and create that configuration first of all. So just say, let's config be equal to UI swipe action configuration. And then here we can see that we need to pass in some actions, right? But we don't have those yet. Don't worry, just hold on. So now we know that we are going to return, what am I spelling? We're gonna return config, all right? So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna pass in some actions. So remember these actions are what we want to be able to do when the user swipes, right? So let's go ahead and create a delete action. So we're gonna say let delete action. And you can see the type over here is UI contextual action. So uh, we're gonna say this is gonna be equal to UI contextual action. And then this takes in a couple of things. First one is the style. We can just go ahead and say destructive. So it is, you know, red. And we want this to basically be a delete, all right? So um, next thing we can do is say uh, the title. We don't want to pass a title, so we want to use a um, what's it called? An icon. So I'm just going to put nail for the title. Next, we can say the this completion handler. And for this particular case, we don't need this. We don't need this. And um, I'm going to go away. And here we're just going to say completion. And this completion is basically what we want to call when this action is complete, all right? So just call completion and pass in true, all right? So this completed successfully, all right? So the next thing we need to do is now our delete action has been created. So now we can configure our delete action. And we can do that by basically saying delete action dot image. And here we basically assign whatever image we want. So I'm just gonna say UI image, and this time I'm gonna use system image, and we have a an icon called trash. So I'm gonna use that. We can also go ahead and specify the background color, all right? So if you wanted to use a background color for, you know, like whatever background color you wanted to use, maybe white for trap for delete, or, um, you know, black, whatever. So here I can just go ahead and say system red, and um, I think that's it. You can go ahead and check other options that you may want to, you know, do and just, you know, go through all of them. But this solves it for our case, all right? So um, now that we have this action, the action, the delete action created, we can now come over here and remember this is an array of actions. So just go ahead and put your array and then we will just add our delete action, all right? So now we can go ahead and run this. And when we try to swipe, we should now see a trash icon. So it's no longer the delete icon, that the delete text. But um, you notice that when I swipe, nothing happens, right? We don't do anything. So what we can do is just the same way we executed this code to delete, we can basically execute the same thing right here. So when this action is triggered, then execute this, um, like execute this, the delete, and then you can mark the completion as true. So if for any reason, whatever action you executed here failed, then you can mark this as false, all right? So I'm just gonna say self dot this, and this table view is just gonna come from here. And we can go ahead and run this. And now if I try to swipe delete, it goes, all right? So that's it. And actually we can add other actions. So you can see when, when we swipe, uh, we can have multiple actions in the swipe. And you probably would have guessed that we basically have to do the same thing. So let's say that we want to have a swipe action to send a message. So we can just call this maybe message icon, message action. And um, here we don't want to do any kind of deletion, but we want to say, let's say print and say send a, a message to 
and uh, I want to send a message to names and this will be cell.names and index path what am I doing dot row okay so send a message to whoever it is that was swiped on and then here we can go ahead and change the image so we can say envelope for the message icon and here we can maybe say system say system mint so what we can do next is we can just come over here and add the new action so here just say message icon and when we run this you're going to notice that when you swipe you have two actions you have the delete and you have the message icon now you can go ahead and if you try to swipe like this it will execute the first action by default so if you were to just swipe all the way it would delete right but if you wanted to execute the message one then you click on it and you notice that in our log we have send a message to Uzo. If you click, we swipe this one like this, send a message to Grace. All right. So the same way you can go ahead and just change the order. And if you do it like this, run it again, then message is going to be the first item, which is going to execute by default when you swipe. All right. Um, so that's good. So another thing you can do is maybe if you don't want to disable, if you want to disable the, you know, swiping all the way through, you can just go to your config and say config that performs first action with full swipe and just say this should be equal to false. Now, if you go ahead and run this, you'd notice that when you try to swipe, it doesn't let you go past, like it doesn't automatically execute any kind of um, swipe, right? So that's good. So just like I mentioned earlier, that um, we can implement or add actions, swipe actions to the trailing. We can also add swipe actions to the leading. So leading swipe action. And then we can basically, let's just copy this one and paste this over here. We can remove delete action. We can remove this one as well. And now I'm basically gonna run this again and we have the swipe from right to left. And this one doesn't allow you go past. But if you also try to swipe like this, then you can go past. All right. So um, this is actually going to be it for this video. If you you know found any kind of value in this, then just go ahead and like the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or um, yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'll try as much as possible to respond. And um, on to the next video, you guys just stay cool. Yay!